working on it for over a year now, and to finally see it in person and to have it up and running is a great success. And, um, you know, a big achievement for everyone with the sporting chance, including all our donors. It seems to be quite a hit in the neighborhood, and everyone's trying to take advantage of the clean water for obviously drinking needs and, and anything else around the house. And, uh, they've got quite the system set up here um, where you pay one board for a bucket of water, so it looks like everybody's filling up a couple buckets and then walking back to their uh, house and using it for the day and probably will come back tomorrow and do the same. Great to finally uh, see it in person and, and know that we are making a difference. Um, you know, hopefully we, by providing this clean water, can reduce the number of contaminated uh, waterborne illnesses um, being transmitted through, uh, you know, contaminated water sources. And, you know, the good news is that uh, the community has adjusted to it well and are uh, taking full advantage of it. We had a great trip. I think everyone really enjoyed themselves, and I think it opened up everyone's eyes to, uh, you know, what the living conditions are like here in Haiti, and um, you know the great need that exists for uh, the most basic necessities. It was great to be back after three years um, having not been here. It was very good to finally get to see all the hard work finally paying off, and we got to see the well yesterday, which was amazing. They pay about two and a half cents per five gallon jug of water and um, while we were there for probably 30 to 40 minutes it was non-stop um, action at the at the spigots and um, everyone seemed to be uh, very grateful for having access to clean potable water. We went to La Fatigue d'Haïti and uh, Bobby Duvall hosted us where we played against his U-17s and U-19s um, who have actually had some success overseas in Denmark and Jeremy and I got split up on two different teams and played against one another and the local community came out and supported the cause in, in great numbers. Uh, everybody from City Soleil and the surrounding areas lined the field three and four people deep and the, the stands were packed so we're estimating maybe between 2,000 and 2,500 people were in, in attendance. And it was just a, a great honor to be welcomed with open arms and uh, we look forward to doing future programs with La Fatigue. As a foundation we need to talk about things and, and see what see what the next step is, whether we want to provide more scholarships or if we want to move on to building a new well. I think everyone really enjoyed the, seeing the well for the first time and, and realizing the impact that it's having on the local community. So uh, we need to do that, kind of reevaluate things and see where we want to take uh, take the foundation from here and also start uh, you know, getting back to fundraising. We need to keep raising money. There's plenty of need here. It's just a matter of uh, raising the money and putting it to good use.